Hello and welcome to this profile episode on North Staffordshire Railway number 23, a defiant last gasp of a proudly independent little railway. Number 23 was designed by John Albert Hookham, the locomotive superintendent of the North Staffordshire Railway in 1922. A Londoner, Hookham had learned his trade on the London, Chatham and Dover Railway, together with a brief stint in Brazil. Number 23 was built to operate heavily loaded passenger trains on the steeply graded start-stop route of the Potteries Loop Line between Etruria and Kidsgrove. She was designed to compete with encroaching electric trams and buses, and was thus to have a high tractive effort and rapid acceleration, but also built to be as lightweight as possible. She was also to be built as far as possible using standard North Staffordshire components, albeit modified. Number 23 was the first four-cylinder tank locomotive to be built in the United Kingdom. Hookham took as his basis the existing North Staffordshire Railway D-Class 060 tank engine. Number 23 had four piston valve cylinders, 14 by 24 inches, worked by Volschart's valve gear. All four cylinders drove the centre axle. The crank throws for the inside cylinders were set at 90 degrees apart as normal, but the outside cranks were set at 135 degrees. This gave a much more even torque, and eight rather than four beats per revolution. As a result, the blast was much softer, which in theory lent itself to more economical running. To provide steam for these four big cylinders, Hookham took a modified M-Class 440 locomotive boiler with a round-top firebox, the more usual bell power firebox being eschewed in order to save weight. The boiler had an internal diameter of 4 feet 7 inches and was 10 feet 9 inches long. Despite its small size, the heating surface including firebox and superheater was over 1,000 square feet and, according to the Journal of the Institution of Locomotive Engineers, maximum boiler pressure was 175 psi. The six driving wheels were 4 foot 6 inches in diameter and the outside coupling rods were made from nickel steel to help save weight. Lubrication was via Wakefield Mechanical Lubricators. The engine carried 900 imperial gallons of water in side tanks and two and a quarter imperial tons of coal in the bunker. Despite attempts at weight saving, in working order, number 23 weighed 56 tons, 1300 weight, not much less than one of the much larger NSR new L-class locomotives. Turned out from Stoke Works at the end of 1922 as works number 190, she underwent running trials where it was found, perhaps unsurprisingly, that the boiler was unable to provide sufficient steam for the four big cylinders, and that coal and water capacity was woefully inadequate. But her story did not end with the end of the North Staffordshire Railway when it was merged into the London Midland and Scottish Railway on the 1st of July 1923. In 1924, the LMS rebuilt her as a tender engine, which greatly increased coal and water capacity. But nothing was done about the inadequate boiler. In this form, she worked pickup freights on the NSR system for a few years, until being withdrawn as non-standard in December 1928 and cut up for scrap at crew. Number 23 was a brave idea, but her design was fundamentally flawed from the beginning, in being unable to supply sufficient steam for so many cylinders. Far from being a final defined gesture from the North Staffordshire Railway before it was consumed by the LMS, number 23 was more of a whimper. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if you have, please leave a comment below, as well as like, share and subscribe. If you would like early access to Rail Story content, you can do so through supporting the channel on Patreon. And you can find out more about the North Staffordshire Railway by visiting the Foxfield Railway in Staffordshire 
and by reading my forthcoming book on the NSR. And I look forward to seeing you all next time on Rail Story.